my little learners in this video we are going to discuss the question and answers of chapter 5 measurement of length and motion for class 6 students i have already explained this chapter in detail in our previous video i hope you have watched it and understood the concepts well but even if you still have a few doubts don't worry at all this video will help you clear everything step by step but before we dive into the question and answer let's quickly go through a short summary of the chapter to refresh your memory this will help you recall the key points and understand the answers better so let's get started the international system of units that is si units has been adopted by countries as standard units of measurement the si unit of length is meter and its symbol is small m 1 km is equal to 1000 meter and 1 meter is equal to 100 cm and 1 cm is equal to 10 mm mm when distance is stated with respect to a fixed object or point then this point is called a reference point an object is said to be in motion if its position changes with respect to a reference point with time when an object moves along a straight line its motion is called linear motion and when an object moves along a circular path its motion is called circular motion when any object moves to and fro about any fixed position its motion is called oscillatory motion question number 1 some lengths are given in column 1 of table 5.5 some units are given in column 2 match the lengths with the units suitable for measuring those lengths so let's match the lengths in column 1 with the most suitable units from column 2 the distance between delhi and lucknow is very large so it is best measured in kilometers which are used for measuring long distances like between cities the thickness of a coin is very small so we use millimeters to measure it as millimeters are suitable for measuring very tiny lengths the length of an eraser is not very big and can be easily measured in centimeters which are commonly used to measure small objects and the length of a school ground is quite long so it should be measured in meters question number 2 read the following statements and mark true or false against each the motion of a car moving on a straight road is an example of linear motion so true when a car moves in a straight line its motion is called linear motion so this statement is true second number is any object which is changing its position with respect to a reference point with time is said to be in motion so true this is the correct definition of motion if an object changes its position with time when compared to a reference point it is said to be in motion so this is true third number is 1 km is equal to 100 cm so this statement is false we know 1 km is equal to 1000 meters and 1 meter is equal to 100 cm so 1 km is equal to 1000 times 100 which is equal to 1 lakh cm hence 1 km is not equal to 100 cm so this statement is false question number 3 which of the following is not a standard unit of measuring length options are millimeter centimeter kilometer and hand span so we know millimeter centimeter and kilometer are standard unit of length but hand span is not a standard unit of length it is a non standard unit based on the distance between the tip of the thumb and the tip of the little finger when the hand is fully extended and it can vary from person to person hence hand span is the correct answer question number 4 search for the different scales or measuring tapes at your home and school find out the smallest value that can be measured using each of these scales 
record your observations in a tabular form so the plastic scale of 15 cm which is found in geometry boxes has markings that allow us to measure lengths as small as 1 mm or 0.1 cm the long wooden ruler of 1 meter usually found in classrooms also has small divisions that help measure up to 1 mm accurately the measuring tape commonly used at home or in tailoring can also measure small lengths up to 1 mm the inch tape which is often used in carpentry can measure lengths as small as 1 by 16th of an inch which is a very fine measurement in the imperial system question number 5 suppose the distance between your school and home is 1.5 km express it in meters so to convert 1.5 km into meters we use the following conversion 1 km is equal to 1000 meter so 1.5 km will be equal to 1.5 times 1000 which is equal to 1500 meters so the distance between school and home is 1500 meters question number 6 take a tumbler or a bottle measure the length of the curved part of the base of glass or bottle and record it so you can write the answer as i took a tumbler from my kitchen then i used a piece of string to measure the round part at the bottom of the tumbler after marking the point where the string completed one full circle i straightened the string and placed it along a ruler to measure its length the length of the curved part of the base is 21 cm question number 7 measure the height of your friend and express it in meters centimeters and millimeters so the height of my friend is 1.5 meters so we know 1 meter is equal to 100 centimeters that's why 1.4 meter is equal to 1.4 times 100 which is equal to 140 cm and we know 1 meter is equal to 1000 mm so 1.4 meter will be equal to 1.4 times 1000 which is equal to 1400 mm question number 8 you are given a coin estimate how many coins are required to be placed one after the other lengthwise without leaving any gap between them to cover the whole length of the chosen side of a notebook verify your estimate by measuring the same side of the notebook and the size of the coin using a 15 cm scale so you have to measure the diameter of the coin and the length of the notebook then divide the length of the notebook by the diameter of the coin to estimate the number of coins required so using a 15 cm scale you measured the length of the notebook side and found it to be 23 cm and the diameter of one coin is 2.3 cm to find out how many coins would fit along the notebook's length you divided 23 cm by 2.3 cm and the answer is 10 so 10 coins placed in a line would exactly cover the length of the notebook question number 9 give two examples each for linear circular and oscillatory motion students i am giving here four examples of each type of motion you can remember any two which you like the most examples of linear motion are car moving on a straight road arrow flying from a bow an eraser dropping straight down ball rolling on a flat floor examples of circular motion are fan blades rotating wheels of a bicycle earth revolving around the sun hands of a clock examples of oscillatory motion are pendulum of a clock child on a swing the motion of a metal strip pressed and released spring moving up and down question number 10 observe different objects around you it is easier to express the lengths of some objects in millimeter some in centimeter and some in meter 
make a list of three objects in each category and enter them in the table 5.6. So some objects around us are best measured in millimeters, especially when they are very small. For example, thickness of a coin, tip of a pencil lid, thickness of a cardboard sheet. But some objects are better measured in centimeters such as length of an eraser, width of a mobile phone and length of a pen. And some larger objects are measured in meters such as height of a door, length of a room or width of a playground. Question number 11. A roller coaster track is made in the shape shown in figure 5.19. A ball starts from point A and escapes through point F. Identify the types of motion of the ball on the roller coaster and corresponding portions of the track. So, according to the roller coaster track shown, the ball undergoes linear motion from point A to B. Then it shows circular motion from point B to C as it moves through the loop. From point C to D and D to E, the ball continues in circular motion along the curved track. And finally, from point E to F, the ball again exhibits linear motion. Question number 12. The Sneem wants to make a meter scale by herself. She considers the following materials for it. Plywood, paper, cloth, stretchable rubber and steel. Which of these should she not use and why? So students, we know that a measuring scale needs to have a fixed and unchanging length to give accurate measurements. If the material expands, shrinks or bends, it will not provide reliable or consistent results. Stretchable rubber can easily change their length when pulled or stretched. Cloth is also not ideal as it can fold, wrinkle or stretch which may also cause errors in measurement. Plywood, paper and steel are rigid materials and maintain a fixed length. So, the sneem should not use cloth or stretchable rubber to make a meter scale because they are not rigid and can change their length which would lead to incorrect measurements. Question number 13. Think design and develop a card game on conversion of units of length to play with your friends. Students, you have to think, design and develop this card game yourself as it will enhance your creativity. However, I have created an example card game on the conversion of units of length that you can play with your friends. The name of the game is Length Match 4. And its main objective is to collect four cards that represent the same length but in different units like kilometers, meters, centimeters and millimeters. To play this game, you need to prepare 80 cards in total, which means 20 sets of four cards. Each set contains one card in kilometer, one card in meter, one card in centimeter and one card. Example of one set is 2 km, 2000 m, 2 lakh cm and 20 lakh mm. Example of another set is 0.5 km, 500 m, 50,000 cm and 5 lakh mm. I have made the cards colorful to make the game more attractive and fun. Rules to play are Shuffle all 80 cards well and deal 5 cards to each player. Place the remaining cards as a draw pile and open one card in the middle as the discard pile. Players take turns in a clockwise direction. On your turn, you can pick one card from the draw pile or the discard pile. Discard one card from your hand to the discard pile. The goal is to collect 4 cards that show the same length in different units. As soon as a player collects all four equivalent cards, they shout length match four and show their cards. 
the cards are checked for correct conversions if they are correct the player wins that round cleared that's it for today's students i hope all your doubts are now cleared and you have understood the concepts of conversion of lens and types of motion well keep practicing and we'll meet in the next class with more fun and learning bye bye